Hello, my denture dudes and dudettes, my denture booze, my denture sugar honey iced teas. Hey guys, I hope you all are having a thankful Thursday. It's me, Sweet Lady B, coming to just, you know, uh, share some things with you and to check on everybody, see how they're doing. I try not to, or I would like to try to at least do a video once a week. You know, I don't want to get where, you know, I'm so comfortable that I don't have anything to talk about and end up where you don't see me for months or a year or whatever. Um, I just wanted to say that I have a dentist appointment tomorrow because <laughs> I still have a root over here that needs to come out and so it needs to come out. I've been putting it off because I just didn't want to get stuck in again. I just didn't want to go through that again, okay, with a hole in my, you know, but it needs to come out. It don't even need to be there. It's not serving any purpose. <laughs> <laughs> it need to come out. So it's just a broken, I think it was a broken out teeth I had a long time ago. And the first dentist that pulled that tooth left the root in. And I think when my dentist now at DDS, I, I think because he didn't see a tooth there, he just went past it. He forgot that it was a root in there, even though they supposedly had an x-rays in front of them when they doing your extractions. But he forgot it. And it's okay because I love him to death. He's He's awesome. Um, I wanted to touch on some things um, uh, about my daily or, or, you know, I'm one of the ones, there's a few that like adhesive. <laughs> I know. Here's my thing. Well, you say, well, V, you just talked about getting a reline. Yes, I did. And I love the fact that I have a reline. Um, for those that don't know what a soft reline is, please go back and visit my um, previous video regarding the soft reline. It's where you go to the dentist and they put like a cushion in your um, denture. See, so you can see it. It's coming up over top. And I did that. I wanted her to do that because my dentures was kind of digging in here. And so it feels so much better. You know, and so that's an advantage of it. You know, with me, I like the secure part of when I have to immediately put them in and immediately take them out, you know. And that's mostly on the weekends. On the, you know, during the week, I do powder. And I do, it's funny though how this works, but I do um, fix it in powder on top. And, you know, I don't do it around the whole denture. I only do it on, I guess, is that the trough? I don't know what you call it, the hump. At the roof of your mouth. My mom used to say the roof of your mouth. And then I do poly grip powder on the bottom. And I put a little extra on there. And the reason, you, you know, why I do that, because I'm a snacker. Yes, I'll eat my breakfast and I'll eat my lunch. But I'm at work late, so I'm snacking. I eat popcorn. I might eat trail mix, Chex mix. Um, all kind of little stuff. I'm just constantly... So when you constantly chewing all day, your denture's going to get loose, you know. So depending on what type of, you know, day I'm going to have or if I'm going out to eat with friends and things like that and I'm going to eat a big meal, then, you know, I might add adhesive. Adhesive don't bother me like it bothers everybody else. The cleaning part don't bother me because it's going to come off. I... It, I guess it doesn't bother me because I like to be secure with my dentures. And like I said, you know, it just depends on, you know, Bill talked about how much you put on your denture. You know, and depending on your stability, how, 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 how you want it to stay. If you want it tight, then you're going to add more. You're going to get some oozing. I talked about with the oozing part, if you have your little thing of or gel liquid and a Q-tip, you can take and, and clean that area off, and it's it's gone just like that. You don't have to wipe or anything like that. It, it It's gone if you have any oozing out. Um, I have to piggyback off of my um, one of my subscribers in Walls. She said it's just like... And she's so right. So it, on the weekends when I decide if I'm not going anywhere and I'm home and I can just put my dentures in and take them out and, and if I cough or sneeze, they don't pop out. That's the great thing about a soft reline. 
but eating my dentures still toggle and move especially the bottoms the tops is that not as much but the bottoms so if I'm gonna eat something like I might have an egg or a sandwich or you know um, it's it it's going to be minimized what I'm going to eat. Now, if I'm getting down with a big meal and, you know, where we done cooked and, and so I'm eating, you know, then I'm going to powder them down because when you don't, it feels like you're chewing your dentures. You're chewing and your dentures are moving it along with your food and you're switching back and forth. For me, that's how it feels. And she hit the nail on the head when she said it feels like you're chewing your, your dentures and it does for me. Adhesive is my friend. I don't, you know, I know a lot of people don't like it. They don't, you know, the ooze and the goose and what. It depends on how you put it in and how you take them, how you take it out. You know, um, the powder can be a little strong up there. So I swish around with some hot, some hot water, warm water in my mouth, and I swish, 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 and then I, I take my denture, go back and forth with it, and it comes right on out. By the time I get home from an 8, 9, 10 hour day at work, my bottoms are pretty loose. So, they pop right on out. I spray a little peroxide in my mouth. I do my mouthwash, swish, 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 swish with warm water. This stuff come right on out. So, I don't have an issue with adhesive. Adhesive is my friend. I keep a little a small piece in my purse, honey, just in case. Okay? Adhesive is my friend. <laughs> Me and adhesive, we like this. We right here. <laughs> so, you know, I, I just want to encourage people that because so many people are against adhesive and they don't like adhesive and and all of that. And I get it and I understand that the goo in your mouth and this and that still ain't worse than them rotten teeth in your mouth. Them nubs in your mouth. It's just temporary you know it just, it, it's just temporary and you have to like I said a lot of things you have to wrap your mind around so you know I just want to get out here and, and, and keep you guys encouraged and uplifted that adhesive too can be your friend it's okay it's okay and then if you don't like adhesive get to a point where you don't have to wear it what does that entail sweet lady V well you know it entails and to me the only thing that resolves it is if you get snap-ins or implants because over time even when you get your permanent dentures and they in there snug and tight over time they're gonna loosen back up again denture fit is, is everybody's ranting and raving about the denture fit I'm quite sure it's awesome and it's and, and it's great to have. I'm not saying I do because I've never used it before. I just haven't had I haven't used it yet because I'm still getting my free soft free lines. So when I have to use, you know, denture fit, that that's who I'm going to. When I have to use something, I'm going to denture fit. But in the meantime, in between time, <laughs> you just you know, I don't know what to tell you as far as you know you glue them down and sometimes i got a little crazy with the glue girl be girl i mean guys and girls it be so tight i be like god dog it out i went overboard today but they in there you know now if you're the kind of person that you eat a breakfast lunch and dinner you, you're not a snacker like i am then you're probably good for eight hours me i'm a snacker i'm i'm you know i'm constantly putting something in my mouth you know so and over time, with all that motion, it's going to eventually, you know, loosen your adhesive. So, I just say, again, you know, your practice time is around the time on the weekends or days that you're off or, you know, don't have anything to do to see what's going to work for you and what's not going to work for you. It seemed like, to me, the one with zinc in it holds better it's a tighter grip than the one without zinc i don't know the toll that zinc takes over your body over a certain time that's why i love it if margaret donna and kayla and bill uh come on my channel and uh, make comments because i'm new so i don't claim to know everything and i love it if they make comments on you know 
on on my channel because it helps others in case I miss something. You know, we all out here to help each other. Nobody's out here to outshine the others. And if you're still on the fence about dentures and you're still having a hard time and depressed about dentures, if you want to get out of that and you want to have fun, I suggest again, I'm going to plug in Margaret, um, Kayla, and Donna. Donna, Kayla, Margaret, however you want to put them, whatever order you want to put them in, that you go out there on their live subscribe to their channels and that live will just have you busting open it would just open your mind to this is fun i'm going to embrace that that that's what you know the true people are there for it's not about subscribers it's not about putting down other people it's not about outshining the next or stealing anybody's thunder I always state, if it's something that I say that somebody don't like or, you know, I challenge you to comment that, you know, you go and put a thumbs down. That don't bother me because my life still go on with a thumbs down, thumbs up, subscribe or not. But being, you know, being, you know, saying that, I do want to say thank you and mwah, 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 to my new subscribers. Thank you so much. It lets me know that I'm reaching one, teaching one, I'm helping somebody. If you have a question, you know, ask me in the comment. I do respond to my comments. I love to read them, and I do love to respond to them. So, um, I'm going to get out of here, head on to work. Yeah, it's, you know, Thursday afternoon here in Dallas, and I'm doing pretty good today. Um, you know, Dennis, I mean, dentures is a... Um, up and down battle sometimes you know some days you up some days you down i had a young lady come to me and ask me about where did i go and everything because she's looking into it and she feels that her attitude that she has is because of her mouth and i and i understand how she feel even i was a bubbly crazy person even with bad teeth you know some people it, it bothers them you know and she said well you make it seem like it's so you know you, you your personality when i had another lady that's a friend of mine that we were supposed to be, you know, trying to get our mouth done together. And she was so worried about the stigma to, you know, dentures are for old people and this and that or whatever. When she had the money to do it and, and now she don't, she's, you know, she said, well, you embrace it and I'm proud of you. You know, um, like I said, so many other things in the world is just, you know, that uh, can make you down and out. I just don't allow the dentures to do that to my life um i'm very thankful and grateful that um i was given this opportunity to add life years to my life because the bad teeth that was going through my body was slug had me sluggish and, and slowing me down but i hope everybody have a terrific thankful thursday i'm out of here be good to yourself keep budget others encouraged and uplifted and i'll see you soon peace